What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're continuing to check out Shuffle Baby 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 Keep 2, which is finally working for me, which makes me very, very happy because I've wanted to play this game. I only have $30 though, I'm poor. So I think we need to open the shop. I, I don't think there's going to be any way around that, but I'm going to stand here menacingly with my beat stick just in case any of these people decide to get crazy. That's right, sir. I'm looking at you, Mr. Max Stampo. I'm looking at you right now. I don't know what it is you do for a living, but you look like a criminal to me, son. You look like a thief. You're probably gonna, you're gonna try and steal that shirt right there, huh? Oh, okay. So you're going after the boots. I see it. You're gonna try and steal some boots. I got you. I got you. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. Look at this guy. He stole the boots and left some money here. What an idiot. <laughs> what a mook. Who does that? Who is this guy? Where does he come from? Worst thief in the history of thieves. I'm going to see if I can get some free stuff out of the trash can. Come on. And back. Got him. $82. There we go. Now I have $112. That's a lot better. And that's tax-free too right there. It's not tax evasion because I had to dig through a trash can to get it. That's one of those lesser known IRS rules that a lot of small business owners don't know about. If the money is inside of a trash can, you don't have to report it. Done dealio. Done dealio on the realio. Did somebody like... Why did people get unhappy? Why are people unhappy? Oh, because somebody threw trash on the floor. There we go. I will fix that. We've got a few more rating points back right now. I would like to maybe just like put this over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and like put that right. Th oh, never mind. That can't be sold. Okay. Well, can I put that there? I can't put that there either. Well, see, now I'm just disappointed with myself. Uh, let's go ahead and I would like to go. I don't want my order scroll. I want my inventory. And I want these to not be on those hotkeys anymore, please. If those could not be on the hotkeys, that would be great. I've got a super awesome hat right now, but I don't know if it's awesome enough. I don't know if we're well within the realm of awesomeness. I need more cussa. Uh, Ruta Nata, you seem to be stuck. Either that or some kind of dance. Just, yeah. Get down. Dancing with Ruta. Yup. Ruta on the track. Let's go. I see you like shoulder pads. Well done. I agree. Your shoulders probably need protection. They look a little bit unclad right now. It's priced at 130. We'll see if anybody buys them. We've also got an empty slot right there, so I guess I'll throw that down. We don't have a whole lot of demand right now. Like, what is my so if I go over here, right? What is our price looking at right now? So it's profited at 43. I still feel like that's a pretty good profit. Like, yeah. We are going in and we are putting some pretty intense markup on some of this stuff. But I think it's gonna be where did my money go? Didn't I have money a second ago? I feel like I had money a second ago, and now I don't have money. Didn't I have 132? What did I spend 20 bucks on? Chat, did you see what I spent 20 bucks on? I don't know what I spent 20 bucks on. Hmm. Hmm. Does it cost money to sweep? I don't think it does. All right, we got a lot of people in the shop right now. Just in case anybody decides to pull a runner. Apparently, I'm not paying taxes on any of this stuff. Or maybe the tax doesn't get... It's put... I think that's what it is. We pay after tax. We don't pay during... Ta Damn it. Stop that. Just browsing. Thanks. Well, how would you like to buy this mask right here? Yeah, I was going to say, like, if we can move product a little bit faster, I'd rather do that. Like, if I can double up on some of you... You want a water bottle? You got to stay hydrated, man. Stay hydrated while you're out here in these streets. And then he's still going to come in and buy something. Hello. What a guy. What a dude. I will sell you those wooden shoes for $29. What are my other shoes selling for? Out of curiosity. I don't recall. For $44? Oh, I made like a little tiny profit off of that. I didn't make like any money off that sale. Hell yeah, it's a good deal. You came to Splattercat's Emporium. This is the place to be. Step on up. Look at those raggedy ass. Look at those raggedy ass Adidas right there. You don't want those anymore. You need some, yeah, some shoulder pads to really match up with it. That's what I'm talking about. You need something good right there. Make you feel nice. Make you feel whole again. Kind of hit the after hours here. It's getting kind of late. It's like 8.30 at night right now. I don't think people go shopping at 8.30 at night unless they're like mobile jet setters. You know what I mean? Like those are fancier people than I that like live in San Francisco or something that go out shopping at 8.30. If it's 8.30, like around my house, I'm winding down. I'm laying on the couch. I'm taking in some Netflix. I got a blanket on. 
my dog is probably laying on that blanket, making the whole thing extremely uncomfortable, but he's happy so I don't move him and my leg falls asleep, and I feel very, very unhappy, but at the same time satisfied that I've been a good dog parent. I need to get a trash can or something around here. I need to get a trash can. These people are filthy. They're just leaving stuff all over the place. You gonna buy my stuff? You gonna buy my stuff, bro? Yeah, there you go. Apparently, I've got business points. Let's take a look at our business points real fast. So we've got 10 movement points right now. We can have a faster sprint if we can get up to 15 points there. We also have combat, which we haven't done yet, so that's not really going to be that big of a deal. We only have one management point. But business-wise, we can get a discount on our orders. I definitely want that. Let's take the discount on orders for sure. That 10% is going to move our margin up. We're already marking things up by like 40%, and so that'll make it so that we're making like 50% profit off of everything that we're selling. That's a good thing, like Martha Stewart would say while she's running her prison gang from the confines of San Quentin. Errit, 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 hard knock life. Errit, errit, school of hard knocks. I'm going to give you a small life pro tip. If any of your social media says went to school at the school of hard knocks, you got to change that, man. You got to change that. People just roll their eyes when they see that. It's an, it's an eye-rolly thing to have on the profile. But then how will people know that I have a bad temper and I like punching? I'm like, normally you would want to keep that hidden for a little while. That's one of those surprises you spring on new friends like a year into the relationship. You gotta wait a little bit, alright? I don't know what decorum calls for in that situation. How long it can be before you introduce your friends to the fact that you have a really severe problem with not punching people. But... Why is my shop appeal so bad? I don't understand. I feel like my shop is pretty appealing. I feel like it's a nice place. Why don't people like my shop? Is it because I have empty racks? That's probably what it is. It's probably because it looks a little empty in here. All right, I'll close this down for right now. We got to restock anyways. Oh, we've got a payday summary. Maybe I'll go... Yeah, let's go to accounting. We'll go to the vault. And we will pay our taxes first. I think is a really good idea. So let's, like, pay our taxes. There we go. We've now apparently unlocked a new building, which is nice. And then we can unlock the cook via our daily report. However, I need money. So I'm just going to make a quick withdrawal because I'm poor. And I don't have enough money to buy more stock. Because the government... Is taking everything from me right now. Alright, so here we are. We found the little menu. We can unlock the cook from right here. That'll be nice because now we can dabble in supplying food. We also made $25 for completing that little thing that we had going on. They want us to buy 20 wheat, 10 milk, and make bread. Alright. I don't know what the profit's going to look like on bread, but we can try. I think the cook, if I recall correctly, is like right over here. Yeah, there we go. So we can buy milk. Looks good to me. We'll get like 10 of those. I think you can also do it from the shopkeeper and it's a little bit faster maybe. But this is also kind of satisfying. This is fine. And then I got to buy some wheat too. Where's the wheat at? That costs nine a piece. Damn, that's pricey. Can I just buy it from you? It'll be faster if I just buy it from you. Like, can I just tell them to, to buy all of the materials that I need to do this? That would be one of those little things that I think needs to... You should just be able to make the bread and it will just auto-buy the stuff. That's just my feeling, is that maybe that would be a good idea. What about if I order through here? Can I do it? So we can only get an apple from there. Weak. Okay, so it looks like I actually have to do this this way. I don't know if there's a way to buy these in multiples. It'd be nice if I could just spam the key and get as many as I wanted. This is a little time-consuming. So either allow me to spam the key or maybe make it so that it just auto-buys all the materials needed for the stuff that you're making over there. And then you can do it the optional way if you really, really want to. Uh, now we can make bread. So we can go over here, select that, take that up to 10, and then we'll say, hey, make me 10 bread. I don't know how long that's going to take, but I appreciate it. Hopefully bread sells for a lot of money. It costs us 19 to get. On our order sheets, I'm going to say let's add like five shirts, like five masks, get like five gloves. These seem to sell out pretty fast, these shoulders, so we'll get like maybe a little bit of that right there. And then I think that's all we're going to be able to afford for right now. So we'll put the order in. After we sell all that stuff, we'll be in better shape. And I do think we're going to be net positive after we get everything from the cook. You almost done here, pal? 
You almost done? Alright, so we're nearly good to go on bread for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take all that. We've got ten breads, and they want me to unlock the blacksmith. Let's go pick up all of our other orders real fast, and also dumpster dive for a minute, so we can get some free monies. What do you have going on? Uh, we've got ethereals again. I think he just wants to talk about... He's got quests under the table. Try selling some items to customers while interacting with them. Alright, I can do that. Free money's free money. I'm never gonna complain about free money. Get our order chest real fast, and then we'll go back in over this way. And let's get the shop set back up. We'll make the shop look a little bit nicer. So I've got ten breads. We can throw those in. So they're priced at 45 right now. I kind of feel like we can get away with maybe going after 50 on these. Just make a little bit more profit. And then I guess we'll just be a bread vendor for right now. Throw that in there. Yep, just bread vending all day long. And then I would also like to have some shirts that we can throw on out there. If I have any money left, I would like to buy some pedestals too. Where's this guy at? Wasn't the little the, pe the little pedestal vendor? Where's the where's the where's the pedestal vendor at? I need some more pedestals, or like another table or something. That's seventy bucks. We can afford two of them. Let's get two more tables. No guarantee that we're going to be able to set up this many tables, but we'll get some larger stuff a little bit later, and we'll make this thing happen. I'm going to open up the shop. I don't really care if they see me like under construction right now. I just want them to come in and buy my things. So I'll put you right there. Oh, I can only place furniture when the shop's closed? Alright, well, never mind then. That's a bummer. Alright, we'll put you right there, and then we'll do the same thing over on this side. Yep, just place that furniture. Put you in right there, you in right there. We're all out of shirts. We ran out of shirts. I'm shirtless right now. Business is not going well. That's how broke I am. I'm shirtless. I need help. I need somebody help. Just anybody help. I think what I would like to do is I think we should take this price up by like a little bit. There we go. Does that set all of them at 140? Or only some of them? It sets all of them. Alright, good. That's exactly the kind of adjustment that I was looking for. And now we wait for another day of equitable mercantile exchange, my friends. Alright, what can I get for you gentlemen? You got anything nice in here? Got anything in mind? That's what you need. You need a band. Oh, they both bought something. Nice. They wanted me to sell stuff to people, too. I will sell you these gloves for 95. There you go. There you go. I will sell you these gloves for 95. Yup. Everybody wants to buy something from me. I'm like the guy right now. I'm the dude. Step right up. Get all the sundries you need. Splattercat has you covered. If you steal anything, I will hit you with this rock on a stick. So please don't steal. Please don't do that. If you steal from me, I'm going to be very, very mad at you. I will write you a grumpy letter. The grumpiest of the letters. Hey, would you like to buy this shoulder armor right here for like 80 bucks? Alright, so we finished. Oh, we got two more people we got to sell to. Would you like to buy these shoulder guards for $80? You would? I'm glad to hear it. Would you like to buy these shoulder guards for $80? Very nice. And then we got a little bit of extra money right there to make up for whatever loss we might have had. I don't even know what shoulder pads are selling for right now. Probably more than I was selling them for. Oh, we were getting basically the same profit. We were just giving them a little bit of a look-see discount for coming and buying it directly from us. I can appreciate that. I can put some, I can put some respect on that. I feel it. Put those town guard shoulders over there. And we don't have any new customers coming in, so... Maybe we'll just wait it out. I find it to be a little bit of a bummer that I can't stack up little stuff on these tables. I wish that I could, but our high market items haven't gone yet. We've sold one shirt so far, I think. But if we could sell a couple more, that would really help us dive on into actually making a profit. I like that afro. How much money monthly do you feel like you spend on hair dye, though? That's natural. Oh, really? Okay. Well, good for you. Good for you. Like, I'm just saying, I couldn't make the Ronald McDonald work look for me. I'm not out here trying to sell people double cheeseburgers. Although, if we do get to double cheeseburgers in the tech tree, I wouldn't turn it down. That'd be pretty good. We should make some real money this time around, I think, though, with that extra 10% we're making on every sale. 
Oh, that guy just bought our shirt. We're finally making money here. The shirts are like the big thing that I really, really, really need to sell. If we don't sell the shirts, like those are the things I need people to pick up. Good, 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 good. I don't want to have empty tables, though. I think that affects your shop appeal when they come in and they see empty merchandise stalls. I think that's what makes them upset. And so I think you're actually functionally supposed to close down the store whenever you're starting to get to the point that you re can't restock everything. So I think I'll probably call it quits once. Did it set the price to 130 at all of these? Does it do that for all of them? Oh, dude, that would explain a lot. Hold on. I don't want these to be at 130. I don't think I have any of them out there. The profit on those is 43. That's not too bad. I think they'll probably still come in and buy them. We're probably hurting ourselves a little bit, but probably not too much. Shop appeal back up. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it like right at a, 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 a. None of that. None of that. None of that. All right, we're going to close it down real fast because I think you get diminishing returns or something on shop appeal. Depending on how long you keep it open, maybe. We'll go to the vault. We got 1.35k in there. That's not too bad. We made a little bit of money. I'll probably pay. We've got consumables, so I got to pay that. And I got to pay the taxes right there, too. But another round of merchandise, and I think we should be okay. Taxes should not be at 100%. I'm going to put them at 10%. That sounds fair to me. All right, give me a little bit of my money back. Let's put another order in. I would say I think we probably need like five of those. I'm just going to do the old the old five trick right here. We've got ugly rings that I can sell. Oh, we've got shorts too now. Okay. Well, I'll go with like a couple of ugly rings because those are cheap and I can fill out merchandise desks with them. There we go. That's a good order. That's an order that I think is going to take us places, and I will get you there, chat. I feel like less people come in at night, and so I'm trying to, like, fix that. Is our order chest here? Oh, you can't skip the order chest by passing time. Interesting. All right. I had no idea. We'll buy the ugly rings over here. I'll probably pick up a couple more pedestals just to keep this place growing. And looking nice. We don't have time to make bread right now, so I'm not really interested in it. Let's go... Yeah, I can afford, like, four of those. Looks good to me. Let's go back to our inventory, and I think we will take... Pedestal, where are you at? Pedestal, need you in my act, yeah. Alright, and then I'll put the glows back in for the waters, because I don't think we're going to be selling water anytime soon. There doesn't seem to be a high demand for water, because in this time period, you can just go down to the village well and get water from there, so, you know. Oh, that one didn't count. I thought I was on that one. My Dead by Daylight skills are weak. I'm missing skill checks out here. It's disappointing me and making me feel bad about myself, but I will loot this. There we go, 73 bucks, I'll take it. Any more trash cans around? We're like low on money, so if I can find another trash can, that'd be great. That's a bucket, that's not a trash can. We can get, we can interact with Get Knocked Out A Lot Junior. I will hunt for money. Oh, so I can tell him to just go out and kill stuff? Okay. All right, good to know. I was unaware of that particular mechanic. We only got 29 bucks for that one, but that's okay. It took us back up over 100. I accept that. Digging through trash, being a hobo. Digging through trash, don't you know, no. Taking that money so I can buy all the things that are going to catch your eye. I was trying to come up with a song right there, but I kind of got stalled out in the middle of the lyric writing process. Listen, if it can happen to Simon and Garfunkel, it can happen to me, okay? There we go. The more stuff that I can put on display, I really do feel like the more stuff we're going to sell. I just want to bring in a lot more customers. So here's our pedestals. And we want these to face this way. Yep. I don't know if we're going to have enough pedestals to fill out this entire wall. But we should have enough pedestals to at least expand out our shop appeal. I'm going to put all of these shoulder guards over here. And we'll put some bandanas over here. Looks good. We've got some sticks that we can sell on this side. So I'll put one of the sticks over here. We'll have like a weapon cabinet right there. 
We'll put in like another shirt over here. Just to make sure people are getting all the things that they need from us. And I think we're full up. Let's go ahead and we'll start off the sales day. Opening at 4 a.m. Simply to satisfy you better. Because I'm a go-getter, chat. I never let my hustle get sweaty. I keep it nice and clean and cool and talked out. Well, the sales day has started. And the money is already flowing. The appeal of our shop. Looking really good right now. If we can get that up to 60 or 70%, I'd be a little bit happier. But for now, I can live with where we're at. Priced at 140. Hey, man, you want to buy a shirt for 140? I will give you this shirt for 135. You will not get this discount anywhere else. Look at that right there. You there. You look like you need a shirt. 135, 136. We'll call it 136. That's what we'll call it. This appears to be kind of like... I don't think we've ever seen anybody say no to one of our offers. That's what I'm thinking right now. That's what I'm thinking. I missed the keys on that last one, but that guy just got an especially good deal. That guy slash lady slash whatever. We'll put that right there. 24 profit on that one. I'll probably bump that up to like 30 in profit maybe. And yeah, just like bump that up slightly. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to keep my customers happy. I'm trying to keep everybody equipped. Got this for 80 bucks. You want to buy a? You want to buy this for like 78? How's that sound to you? You too. You want to buy one? I've got you. I've got you this ugly ring right here. I know it's ugly. I know it's ugly, but you can have it right this second if you just take it off my hands. It's a service with a smile. I'm bringing the merchandise. I'm basically the Uber Eats of ugly rings right now. I bring the service to you so that you don't have to go find it. I'm talented at it too. Just browsing. Thanks. Well, fine then. I didn't want to sell you my super awesome merchandise anyways. You got, you guys want to buy this for 120 There you go. Fantastic purchase. I believe in you. You've done a great job. You absolutely have, you have labored, and you have made some industrious purchases today. Nice. Selling stuff up off my chairs, coming by my awesome wares. You have got a hat with no hair, but that is okay here now. Thank you for this. Nice. Making so much money. Just browse it. You gonna buy a ring. Please understand. You're gonna buy a ring. You have no choice in the matter. You are going to buy this ring. I know you came in for a ring. You are going to buy a ring. This is much less a mercantile exchange than it is a mugging, all right? So get your ass over here, buy something off the table, say thank you, please, all that fun stuff, and we can move forward, all right? Let's go ahead and close the shop down. I want to see how much money I've made today. That's right, turn around. The shop's closed. I don't have anything for you. And what about you? You got a quest for me? A super awesome quest? Try selling items to customers by interact. Oh, it's just a repeating quest? Okay. I mean, it's an extra 80 bucks, but... Let's go to the tax control. We will pay our taxes because we are a member of society that does our due diligence. And then after we do that due diligence, we go to the vault. We take all the money out of it. We actually didn't make as much money as I thought we made. Little scared about that. Maybe business is slowing down. There's the possibility that we may be bankrupt very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to buy... Let's get some rocks on some sticks. Like maybe seven of those. And then, like, maybe some poor shirts, too. Just something to keep the table stocked, you know what I mean? Oh, never mind. I'm broke. I can't afford that. Never mind. All right, back over here. These are prime selling hours. Got to get the shop back open. Just make sure that all the tables are fully filled with stuff that we want to sell. I'll go pick up the order. Oh, the order's already here, actually. Get some sweet air off that hill right there, because if you're not living life in a jovial, frivolous way, then what's the point in being alive anyways? Consider the possibility that you exist. It's got to be really, really minimal. You are the combination of a very complex equation of genetic exchange. One small change, and you'd be a completely different person than you are right now. The chance of you existing, frankly, infinitesimally small, and yet here you are. The combination of that mathematical chance. All right. You got to use that for good. Use that for fun. Use that for levity. Use that for smiles. You guys want to buy my stuff? I've just about run out of dialogue for this episode. So if you guys could like buy some things 
that would be great, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Like, I just, I just need you to buy some stuff. Simply because I've run out of things to say. Mm, what you say? Oh, will you buy up all my stuff? Come up to this back rack here. Buy some shoulders. So you look rad and people fear you. There we go. Throw that in right there, too. I need more customer flow. As I recall, in Shopkeep 1, I felt like there was a lot more customers that would show up. Maybe that has to do directly with the appeal of my store, and I've done a really, really poor job at making my store appealing. Ooh, this guy's already got shoulder pads and stuff. Just the thing that she wanted. Well, we'll replace that with some gloves real fast. Just browsing, thanks. Fine by me. You know, you're not required to buy anything here. I mean, I might hit you with this stick if you don't, but... There you go. Upgrade those shoulder pads, man. You're worth it. You've been raiding. You've been going out, cleansing the realm of evil. You deserve to treat yourself. My name is Splattercat. This is Shop up beep 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 keep two. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I decided to do a second episode because you seemed really stoked about the first one. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Leave likes on the videos down below. And aside from that, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. How you doing? Take care, everybody. Get the game down below if you're interested. And other than that, I'll have something hot and fresh for you off the skillet tomorrow. Goodbye.